Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Noor Networks. In this tutorial, we are going to configure server device health monitoring on F5 Big IP load balancer. What is server device health monitoring? Server device health monitoring is a kind of test that the Big IP perform on a node of a pool member. This monitor typically tests for a specific response within a specified time period. Big IP uses this test result to decide whether the traffic should be sent to the node or pool member. Let's understand using this scenario. So there are lots of health monitoring being performed by a local traffic manager. But over here, we are going to discuss four main types of monitoring and we will be performing the labs accordingly in this tutorial. The first comes the IP address check. As I have said you, the local traffic manager performs a several kind of test to take a further action. So when I say that IP address check or IP address monitoring, local traffic manager will continuously check the reachability of the IP addresses for this node, node 1 that is server 1, server 2 and server 3. If in case due to any reason, like let's say for example, if the server is down or due to network issue, the IP address is unreachable. In that case, the local traffic manager will further take the action and if a client request is coming for this particular application, the local traffic manager will not send the request to the node for which the IP address is not reachable. So I believe that this is very much clear that IP address check or IP address monitoring how it is performed. So we won't be doing a lab for this because it is straightforward that if in case the server is down or the network issue is there, the IP address check will be performed and if it is not reachable, the request will not go to that particular node. The second comes the service check. In this scenario over here, you can see that the server one as an application running on port number 80, the server 2 has two services, one running on port 80 and port 443. Then we have a server 3, uh, which has a service running on port 443. Now, the local traffic manager will continuously check the reachability for the port number 80. It will continuously monitor the health uh, over here for the server on port 80 and for this server port 80, port 443, depending which all health monitor you have define so if in case these ports are not reachable to local traffic manager depending upon the monitoring output health local traffic manager will take the decision and the client request coming to the local traffic manager local, local traffic manager will not forward the request to this particular node for which the service is down third comes the content check if in case you have a requirement that your particular application, like let's say server 1, you have server 2, you have, you have server 3, you have a requirement that a specific content should be matched. If that content is missing, then the local traffic manager should not send the request to that particular node. Let's say for example, you have a web server with a line, this is my test web server. And you can custom you can create a custom health monitoring saying that if the word test is missing in the content then don't send the traffic to this particular node we will be doing the lab then you will have a much more better understanding so we can perform the custom health check also which we are going to do and the last comes the interactive check protocols like ftp need interactive checks as additional command such as username password and directory are typically required so guys let's begin with the lab as we have already discussed that we are not going to do a ip address check monitoring because it is quite simple and straightforward we will move with the service check monitoring let's go to the web gui of the appliance and we will go to local traffic over here we will go to pool pool list we have a web server pool which is up. Just to 
add a note over here if you remember when we were creating a web server pool in our initial tutorial at that time i told you to just add the health monitor http at that time i have just asked you to add but this is the right time to explain basically this is nothing but a port monitoring or you can say a service monitoring so we have said that we need to monitor a http port now since we have defined that the monitor the http port if in case the http port goes down for any of the node that node will be down and the ltm appliance will not send the client request to this particular node let's do the tab over here and one more thing we have three members and you can see all the three members are up now so for performing the lab we will go to web server when we will open the iis and we will say that this web server which is working on port number 80 stop it and now over here we will go to statistics go to model statistics local traffic statistic type will be pools and as i told you that after a specified time will be down what is a specified time in the coming time we will discuss that also what is a specific time but for now let's wait for some time and you will see that the web server one is down see the web server one is down why because we have closed the port number 80 i mean we have stopped the port 80 services for web server one now going to the client machine let's initiate some request and you will see that since the port number 80 is not reachable to the LTM appliance, it won't send the traffic on node 1. Let's initiate some traffic. Okay, now coming to the statistics of the appliance over here just refresh the page and you will see that total four connections were established for the web server pool two were handled by web server two two were handled by web server three but a web server one didn't receive even a single request so it justifies that the LTM performs the monitoring. We have enabled the health monitoring on the HTTP port. And now since the HTTP port on web server 1 is not reachable, the LTM has taken the further action and stopped sending the request to web server 1. And all the requests are going to web server 2 and web server 3. Now we will just again enable it. We will start the services. And again, going over here, we will refresh the page and within a specified time, the service will again come up. You can see the service is up now. And if now you will initiate the request from your client machine, the request will go for sure. Let's refresh some more time to initiate a connection let's go to statistics over here we will refresh it and we will check now well 11 connections are initiated and now three hit on web server one four on web server two four on web server three so this justifies our theory where we have discussed about the service check monitoring now moving on we will be performing the content check so to perform the content check let me show you something we will go over here in the client machine not in the client machine we will go to web server one over here and if you will see that let me browse and i will show you something the, I, I need to show you the content actually okay so you will see the content of the site 
uh, one second there is some issue let me okay refreshing the page is and now now the site has come okay fine so now see on web server one the content is server one right similarly on uh, web server 2 you will find con uh, content as server 2 on web server 3 you will find the content as web server 3 let me show you from here see on server 2 it went from the client machine i am browsing now uh, it is showing server 2 then uh, if you go to server 1 it will show server 1 what we will do we will say that if the content let's say application if this is missing the from the web page the cont in the content application is missing then treat that this uh, traffic the traffic from the client should not be forwarded to this specific node we will be creating a custom health monitor rule but before that what we will do we will just go over here in www root folder where we have kept this and this we are doing to perform the lab actually okay inet pub www root web server we will just edit this what we are doing we are saying that a specific content if it is not available then just treat this this as unreachable don't send the request why we are doing this changes to perform the lab on content monitoring open with notepad and just remove this application word from here and save it we'll minimize this now over here we are going to create a custom health monitoring rule over here so to create a custom health monitoring rule we will go to local traffic go to monitor and you will see these are the pre-configured rules we have used the http health monitoring rule right when that was used from here we will create a new custom rule saying that custom health monitoring rule we will say type over here we will say http the parent monitor will be uh, by default http see i was saying you know specified time duration the interval of checking the reachability is five second and after 16 second it will declare as not reachable it will check at an interval of five second and up to 16 second if it is not reachable means thrice it will check and then it will say that it is unreachable so the content which we want to define like if this content is not available then don't send the request so we will we are going to set application right this application and rest all things don't need to add anything simply say finish what we did we created a custom health monitoring rule over here now going to the pool over here the web server pool we will add this custom health monitoring rule for this web server pool we will add this and since we have added http over here so we don't need to add again and again we will remove this and we will update it so guys after adding this over here in the health monitor we have added custom health monitor rule now we will move to statistics over here in local traffic the statistic type we will select as pools and just expand this and you will see that the web server is the web server one is down and now similarly if you tr try to initiate uh, connections from the client machines it won't be sent to web server one but it will be sent to web server two and web server three now let me show you something like you can check the logs of this particular event for doing that go to systems over here 
and you will see an option called logs. Just click on logs and go to local traffic. Over here, just go over here in the next page and you will see that pool common web server pool this particular service is web server one on port number 80 running on port number 80 monitor status is down the reason is custom health monitor rule so you can find the logs as well over here even if you remember like we have stopped the services on port number 80 that log also you can see over here like the web server one on port number 80 the status is down because the HTTP port is unable to connect. So the logs and all you can check it from here. So it is very much clear that you can either define either monitor using an IP address, you can monitor using a port numbers or you can say using a service check, you can do a monitoring using a content check. Just let me take you to the pool over here and you can see that over here also it will give you why this particular service is down. Now moving on what we are going to do again we will revert the changes. Let me take you to web server 1 and the content which we have removed from here we will just open it and we will put it back. We will save this, we will close it and again we will go to statistics. You can see that the web server one which was showing down due to the missing content is now again up as we have added the application word over there. The content which we have removed is being again added and now the custom health monitor has seen that the application content which we have removed purposely for the testing purpose for our lab purpose now it is available and the service is up now so i believe this uh, much labs and the understanding is enough for the device health monitoring the things are very much clear guys if you have any doubt any questions any queries please feel free to ask me in the comment box and i will try my best to answer your queries as soon as possible that's all in this tutorial guys thanks for watching and if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel yet please subscribe it now and do share with your friends see you in the next tutorial